All right, this is a uh, this is our group design project, Senior Design Two. Um, this is a um, the automated water monitoring control system. Uh, this is our setup here. We have our tank. We have our three sensors down here. We have our valve. And we have our circuitry here in the back. Um, so right now we have our water sitting here with our food food uh, food coloring, and we've had it running on uh, ThinkSpeak. As you can see, we we have the pH uh, level, pressure level, and the EC levels going in here. Nothing on the EC as we haven't dumped anything yet. The pH level has been um, moving, or we've been seeing some movement because of the the water, the food coloring solution. So we see movement there, and the pressure as well is steadily rising because uh, we dumped in the water, and it's um it's a uh, it's increasing and stabilizing as it as it just sits there. It also takes into account small movement that we that we make on the table that it picks up. So right now uh, we're going to be dumping in salt, so we could see um, the the EC level change. Dump more, and just give it a little mix with your hand. I mean, you can get there, but that doesn't really help. You just do it with your hand. So sorry, everybody. <laughs> So you're mixing it. As you can see, the EC level shoots up, the pH level shoot up as well. Now uh, things we does, um, we have our uh, serial monitor uh, updating every three seconds. So every three seconds, we get an update here on values. And in ThinkSpeak, it's every 15. So for every every five updates that we get on this area monitor, we get one point here on ThinkSpeak. And you can see here how the sensors react to, to the salt. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to be pouring some vinegar into it. And this, what this should do is um, it should make the pH level value on the liquid shoot up. So Ari, you can go ahead and dump it. Just dump a good amount. That's fine. Now with, a, I guess, a straw. Just mix it. Get a good mix. And in a second here, you should see the pH shoot up. And there it is. pH level shoots up because we added vinegar and acidic. Setting base solution. And uh, pressure shoots up as well, as you can see. We do see that little dip in there, and um, that's simply because uh, that little dip is because of the stirring that was going on in the tank. Whenever RE stirs, um, the pressure the pressure on it just goes all over the place, and the sensor picks it up, and because of that, we get that dip. But you see the pressure is rising because of the liquid, as well as the pH. We have we have a steady increase as well as the EC increase. But um, now we're just gonna we're gonna fill up the tank. We're gonna go from two gallons all the way up to six. We're gonna fill it up, and then we're gonna we're gonna drain it with our valve. Good, do six gallons. So now we're at four. Where's the marking? Right here. We're at four gallons. We're gonna pour another two. And so pretty much the user that's looking through all this can just make a judgment decision by the data that he, ob he observes and thinks speak so he can look at this and uh, whenever the user wants to and he makes a decision he could just activate the valve
Is it false? Is it hooked up to the red wire? Hook the red wire. Yeah, it is. No, it's not opening. Did you pause the video? No. Pause the video. I think it's because of this, man. <laughs> 